Hey guys, I'm Matt from Leo's Vacation Center, and today I'm doing a full walkthrough on the all new 2018 Passport Rove 173 RBRV. If you don't have time to watch this whole video, click this link right there, that'll take you to a fast two minute video, but stay tuned because we're about to do the whole thing. All right. As I said, we are looking at the 173 RBRB Passport Rove 2018. Uh, let's get started with the front. Uh, the Passport Rove has this nice window. You'll be able to see that from the inside. It looks great. It is a small, lightweight travel trailer, very comparable to the R-Pod or the Sonic. Uh, it's only, you know, 19 feet long. Uh, GVWR is 3,900 pounds uh, and the dry weight, uh, I'll have the dry weight listed right there, but it's very lightweight. You do have a power tongue jack with a lighted up docking station and you get one propane tank, spare tire, spare tire carriers right there, and then your batteries go right there. New for 2018, Keystone, they have this three year structure warranty. And if you're watching this video, by the time I have a video on this one, uh, I'll have a link right up there. You do have a little bit of storage here. Right there, it's held up by a magnet. It is pass-through, uh, as you can see in there. Not a lot of storage, but it's a small RV. Uh, and it does have manual stabilizing jacks. All right, right here, there is some power. Uh, if you wanna hook up something on the outside, it does have a power awning with LED lights underneath. And then it looks like the awning uh, has some arms that hook up right there. Single axle, aluminum rims. You have a nice big grab handle here. Speakers on the outside. And then right here, you do have an LP quick connect if you want to bring a grill with you. Coming around the back, you do have a little uh, class two receiver. Uh, it's good for 150 pounds around the corner here. You do have an outside shower, which is awesome. And then this is your black tank flush, which is great that you get one of these even on such a small RV. And then your fresh water and your city water connection is right there. Let's go take a look on the inside. Inside the Rove 173, I got to tell you, they did a great job making this floor plan. Um, I have a video on the 170, there's a link right there, and I'll have a link at the end of this video. But personal opinion, I like this floor plan a lot better. You have a great bed right here, queen size bed, windows on all three sides, that's the window you saw from the outside. A nice window here and a window there, giving it a lot of natural light. You have a booth dinette, it drops down to make a bed, it looks like it's only size for one person to sleep there. You have a refrigerator right here. You do have a microwave convection oven here. Single sink, two stop, two top stove uh, with glass right there. A ton of kitchen counter space up there if you want to put your coffee pot. You have a little bit of overhead storage and storage below. Also, you have storage here, up there. You have a TV on a swing arm there, so you can watch it while you're in the bed. And then it does have a 13.5 BTU air conditioning. And this is the part I love the most about this floor plan. No wet bath. I know a lot of the Roves, a lot of the, well, this is a Rove. I know the other Rove, uh, I know a lot of the Air Pods, and I know a lot of the Sonic Lights have those uh, wet baths and I'm not a fan of those, and I like this. You have plenty of space, plenty of elbow room to take care of business, a little sink right there, and a regular shower. Now, the shower is not a tall shower, so if you're a taller person, you might have to duck, but it's a lot better than a wet bath in my opinion, just an opinion, but yeah, making this a lot more desirable floor plan than other ones in the competition. Great, thanks so much for watching my video on the 2018 Passport Rove. If this is one of your first time watching one of my videos, click right there, please subscribe. If you wanna see the other Passport Rove floor plan, 
there's a video link right there. Or if you want to see other light travel trailers, there's a video there and there. Finally, if you have any questions, you can always send me an email. It's matt at leosrv.com. Thanks so much for watching.